Hello, I'm Lisa. Hello, my name is Samuel. Today we're talking about the thorax that is in this area and it is your chest and we have 24 ribs and 12 on each side. We do! And we have two floating ribs that are 11 and 12. 11 and 12 that are here and here. I don't think you need me today. I, 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 think, you, I think you're really good at all the, all the facts. Let's turn him around though to have a look. So you're right, there's 24 ribs, there's 12 on each side, and they start from the spine, can you see at the back here? Yeah. So from the spine. And these are your two floating ribs. Absolutely. This one is 11, that one's 12. Absolutely, 11 and 12 are known as floating ribs. And they run all the way forwards, and they attach into this here, which is called... Cool. Costal cartilage! Costal cartilage, yeah, they attach into the cartilage here, the costal cartilage, and that attaches into this bone at the front, which is called the... Stern sternum! The sternum, that's it. And what's the functions of the ribs? Do you remember what the ribs, why we have the ribs? Um, so we can breathe and so it can protect our two lungs that are here, yeah. and our heart that's up here. Yeah, our heart's probably about here, that's right. I that's thought it was up there. It's in the cage, so we've got a thoracic cage, and, and you're, absolutely, cage. you're absolutely right, it's there to help protect our lungs and our heart. Now we've got different, if you can see the, the ribs at the top here. These are, this is your collarbone. This is your collarbone, we'll come to that in just one minute. We'll talk okay. about the top ribs here, because the angle of these ribs are like this, which means when we breathe... They go like a mountain. They do, when we're, when we're breathing they're more up and down like this. It's going like that. And the ribs to the side, here, lower down, they will move more outwards when we breathe. So you can try that. If you put your hands onto your ribs and a little bit higher up, that's it. Oh, there. Here, what, where it stops. Yeah, you can try here or you can yeah, try here. I'm just starting. Breathe in and out. Can you feel your ribs moving? Yeah, these go up and it, and it feels like it's moving up. Then when I go down, they feel like they're moving back in place. Goodness me, wow. That's a lot of movement. So, as you mentioned, let's go along to the... The collarbones here, called the clavicles, Ooh. yeah, and you can see, you can feel them, if you go along, you trace from the middle part here and you can get all the way along to your shoulder. Your collarbone is about where your t-shirt um, collar is, where it's Absolutely, right that's a really good point, yeah, your collarbone is right near your t-shirt. That's why, that's yeah. how you can look. Yeah, That's the little test for you. So the collarbone goes here, you can see the upper ribs actually start a little bit higher and they run underneath the collarbone. Yeah. So let's turn him round just to the side so we can see this bone here. That's it, that's the shoulder blade. This is the shoulder blade, also known as the scapula, mm -hmm. and it sits onto the top part of your ribs. These it? are the blade bits if you didn't know. Okay, and then as the, as the collarbone, so as your clavicle comes along and your scapula, they... they connect together just at the top here. Can you see yeah. that? And that's the top part of your shoulder. So you can feel that, feel the top part of your shoulder. Wiggly yeah. bits, just there and there. I was about to say cheekbone, but I was like, the cheek top there, how could it be the cheek there? We've done the cheeks, we just do the shoulder. Right, let's come down a little bit more then. So in between the ribs, we have got three different layers of muscles and they're known as the intercostal muscles. You didn't tell me that before. Oh, there we go, it's a new one for you. Um, let, I know a good fact that we could talk about. What? Do you know how many times we breathe a day? Yeah. Um, 20 to 3,000 kil kilometres. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. It's 20 to 30,000 times a day is how much we breathe. Yeah. And it's really important that our, our ribs move because our lungs are attached to our ribs. So as our ribs move, it moves the lungs and that's how yeah, we can get like air into them. Yeah, you're breathing. Move your lungs up a bit taller that's why and you then want, it goes back. That's why you want your ribs to move nicely. And yeah. another really important thing is your posture, isn't it? If we're yeah. all really scrunched down and, and, our, and we don't move our ribs, then it's really hard for, to get the air in as, as much as we need it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, sometimes I play with switch like that, but then I play with switch like that. That's a really good like point. That, my, my shoulders go into my collarbone, then my collarbone goes into my neck. Right. Goodness. Well, yeah. The point we were going to make there was that if you are playing a lot of computer games and you're bending over quite a lot, it's a really good idea to just come up a little bit straighter, isn't it, and to do some breathing exercises to get your ribs moving. It would be good if you had a computer that's plugged in on the table, that would be a lot better. Yeah. Because then you'll get to play like that, then you won't go like that. That's true, it could definitely help. Uh, so I think we've covered all the stuff we wanted to with the ribs today. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, I know what we were going to talk about. That we what? Just, uh, at the bottom of your thorax, what divides your thorax and your, and your abdomen, your tummy area? It's like a parachute muscle. It's like a parachute muscle. It's called the diaphragm. Yeah. And it is. It can go into like a bit of a dome shape and then it can flatten. And that's as we breathe. And that's our main muscle that we use for breathing, isn't it? Yes. 
Right, I think that's all we were going to cover today. Yeah. The last thing to say is that you came up with a challenge. Yeah. What was it your challenge? It's to write about five things on a piece of paper that you learnt today, like I done yesterday morning. You did. So I read. Okay. Um, I read parachute muscle, mm -hmm. lungs, heart, ribs and front bone. Well that's brilliant. Yeah, so if you want to write five things down that you've learned today, either the bones or some facts, yeah, anything. that'll be your challenge like for today. Down. Excellent, that's yeah. all from us today. See you yeah. later, bye! Bye!